Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how global variable pools work with Control-M server. Global variable pools, or pool variables, are sets of predefined variables used or shared by one or more jobs. They operate in a similar fashion to percent percent libmemsim, however, they're stored in the global variable database rather than a flat file. We'll use the CTM var utility to set and display pool variables, similar to how we would work with other global variables. I've shown on the screen here the syntax of the CTM var utility. For the sake of keeping this demonstration easy to follow, I'll be using simple pools and simple variables. However, they can be made specific to smart folder and job. You can see here the different options to specify with dash pool. I'm then going to load a single variable into a new pool. I do this by running the CTM var utility with the dash pool switch using set var. Dash pool name specifying the name of my pool, in this case creating a new pool, and the dash var with the variable name and dash value with the value. We'll use the CTM var utility to set and display pool variables, similar to how we would work with other global variables. I've shown on the screen here the syntax of the CTM var utility. If we want to assemble a larger number of variables or load them from a file, we can use the CTM var utility with the dash pool load option. This is similar to the libmem sim, however, we're using the flat file in this case to load the variables as global variables into the control M server database. Here's an example of the file I'm using. The format is simple with the variable name and the value. I'll now use the CTM var utility to load a new pool with the file I've created. I'll use the dash pool load command and specify the pool name along with the source from file. I'm going to check what pools I currently have defined by using the CTM var command with the dash pool list option. I see that I have my pool that I created with the set command and the pool which I loaded. I can check the value of the variables in the pool I loaded by running the view command again we can see that the values match those in the source file I did from my original load. The last thing I'll do is create a job using the CTM create utility. I could also do this in the GUI or other ways like using the automation API. Here, I've created a job using the variable pool. I do this by defining the variable pool sim and setting it to the name of the pool. I can then reference the name of the variables inside that pool. Here I have done an output copy to the concatenation of the GRP ident and timestamp variables I've defined in the pool. Using the CTM log command on the M server, I'll display my jobs log and I can see the output action in the last line, job log copy to GRP1 dot and then the timestamp. This concludes this Control-M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.